Hi there, I'm Jody Whitesides. I'm a musician, a composer, and producer. And today we're going to take a look at the Eventide Instant Flanger MK2. I have here a song called A Perfect Man, and it was released not too long ago. Right now we're going to do a little remixing fun on an acoustic guitar solo that happens in the song, and that's where we're going to play around with the Instant Flanger. This is what the guitar solo sounds like without anything on it. All right, so that's what that sounds like. Now right here, we're gonna push on the little line in button. We're gonna turn it on. That gets us the flanger, and this is what it sounds like with the flanger on it, just with the settings that I've just pulled up with the plug-in. So it's not overly flangy, it's just a slight variation on the sound. And that's a reason for that is that we're currently using a shallow mode, which if we look at this, we have three different ways to play around with the mode, and that is shallow, deep, and wide. Shallow is obviously the idea of it's not very deep, it's not very wide. So if I change this now, while this is playing, you'll hear the differences start to create and creep into the sound that we have. So as you can tell, the deeper version got a little bit more flanged and it started to sound a bit uh, like it was disappearing a little bit, mostly because that's probably where the <laughs> phase inversion was happening within the sound. And then when it hit wide, it kind of really brought the sound way out to the sides. I'm gonna leave it at wide just so it's a little bit more obvious as to what's going on. We'll play it again. And this time I'm going to pop in not only just the oscillator rate, but also going to add in the the waveform as well. And I think for this particular sound on this song, I really like that where it's got that shape off to the three o'clock position on the knob. I'm gonna bring the oscillator rate down though because at 16 bars, that's really not oscillating very fast. So we'll bring it down. At the one bar mark, that's really starting to feel like it's got that flange vibe, but it's not overly intense, which is good. And if I bring it back out of wide and I hit deep, it should be even less intense. Now it's sounding a little bit like it's on the edge of chorusing, which is like more where I want it to be. However, I'm gonna bring the depth back, and this depth knob is essentially just a mix knob in terms of how much of the flanger I'm getting, in that when it's set to the 12 o'clock position at zero, that's entirely the delayed signal without any of the original signal in it. So that gets us more of a detuned flavor rather than a real serious flange flavor. And if I bring it into the max on either the in or the max on the out, it's dependent upon whether the sound is mixed entirely with the original sound on the creation of the inversion of the phase or the, re, uh, the ending of the inversion of the phase. Let's try it here and then I'll sweep to the other side so you get from one extreme to the other. Pretty partial to that max outside it has a slightly less grating flange sound to it to me for this particular part so that's what I'm gonna go with in terms of other things that can be played with we can turn on all the various parts of the flanger and get something really like gnarly <laughs> That's a way too intense for me right now, so I'm gonna actually pop these things back out. 
And then I'm gonna play around a little bit with the low cut because I want to affect more of the high end of it and not so much the low end and just figure out where that body shift tends to happen for this particular part in the solo so that it's not really overdoing it on the low end. <laughs> right here right around the 750 mark is where I want it to be yep that's sounding pretty good to my ears it's affecting more of the high end and the upper mids than it is the low and the low mids so I'm gonna roll with this particular sound this is probably what I'll be using when I go to do the final mix for this commercial venture for the song I'll see you next time